everybody. My name is Shreshta. I am seven years old. I am studying in Kendra Vidyalaya, Coimbatore. Today, I am going to tell a story about little boy Gopi. The story's title is Our Dear Gopi. Ma, ma, ma. Gopi heard Lakshmi's moving sound. He ran quickly to his house after school. He collected hay, grass, and for Lakshmi. We shall play till night, Lakshmi, said Gopi. Gopi's father was a farmer. After leaving Gopi in school, his mother and father were busy the whole day in their fields. Gopi wasn't a very friendly child. There were always complaints and fights between him and his friends. His friends teased him as a crybaby because he blasted out with tears for every small matter. <laughs> Gopi's fourth standard final exams were over. From the neighboring village, his grandparents arrived to see Gopi. Gopi had an irritated look on his face all the time. Come on, Gopi. Let's go to our farmland and have some fun, said Grandpa. Gopi was happy to play hopping game, beanstone game, ludo game with his grandpa. He swinged arms together under the trees. He also enjoyed the elephant ride on his grandpa's back. During that time, suddenly a threatening virus outbroke in and around the village. People were dying pathetically because of the virus. Government announced lockdown. One day, Gopi was wandering around his house. He could not see a single soul on the road. He ran quickly inside his house and heard his father's conversation with his grandpa. Appa! This pandemic and lockdown has affected the farmers very badly. We are unable to do farming and sell the stored grains because daily wage laborers are not available. Gopi could not understand anything. Grandpa, Grandpa, what do you mean by pandemic and lockdown? Please tell me. Grandpa smiled and briefed him about the pandemic. Our government announced lot of guidelines like wearing masks, Washing hands with soap regularly, maintaining social distancing to save the people from the pandemic. But many are not following the guidelines. That is why our government announced lockdown. Gopi immediately wore a mask, washed his hands with soap. He started practicing it. During the lockdown, Gopi was very happy to learn lot of folk songs from his father. He ate delicious food prepared by his grandma and mother. His neighbor, Vishnu's family and many people in the village were affected because of the virus. They could not afford to get treatment in the private hospitals. As soon as Gopi heard this, he broke his piggy banks. Grandma asked, What are you up to, Gopi? Gopi said, I have saved this money from my pocket money for the past three years. He handed over the money to his father to help the affected people. His father was pleased to know of what a kind-hearted boy Gopi was. He added some more money to that and along with the stone grains he distributed to the affected people. Few days later, the pandemic came to an end. Lockdown was revoked. All the people in the village rushed to thank Gopi. We are sorry to 
tease you as a crybaby. Do you be a friend? Ask the tiny little toads from the village. Yes, surely, Ivan said. Gopi, summer vacation was over. His grandparents were about to leave to their village. Appa, what me? Gopi, such an adorable child. He always had a brooding temper. Asked father, have you heard this Tamil song? Yenda kurende yumnalla kurende da mannil piraka ile. Our nalla ver avadum tia ver avadum petrol valar padile. Kindness and good nature is inculcated in child when the parents support them morally and emotionally. This lockdown has taught us many lessons. Many people lost their near and dear ones, which is really heartbreaking. And at the same time, parents have spent lot of quality time with their children. Kids don't need things. They need love, touch and most importantly, time from the parents. Grandparents left saying this. Gopi school reopened. He was warmly hugged by his friends and teachers. So what is the moral of the story? The kindness and love that you put into the world always comes back to you. Thank you.